Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Miss Lachey here, of course. And today we are doing another hair tutorial. So in that box, it came with elastic band, a wig cap, and a rat tail comb. You guys, I needed that so bad, especially with the metal in. That's like the best rat tail comb. Um, and then they also sent me this wig, and this is the lace and how it looks. I still went ahead and bleached the knots and kind of plucked it a little bit. Um, and this is just the construction of the wig. They had some really deep parting for it to be a 13 by 4. Um, but yeah, so this is the, the construction of the wig. And I'll leave everything about this wig in the description bar for you guys. And yeah, so this part is just a little up close so you guys can see really what I'm working with. And y'all, this hair is fire. Um, I'm going to put up a video of how I colored this hair a little later for you guys. But as you can see, I already cut the ear tabs. And I did make my three sections. If you guys aren't familiar with any of my install videos, um, I'll link that down below so you guys can see a more detailed look. And I went in using the Erica J's lace glue. You guys, you'll see how I feel about this towards the end. But I went ahead and did three layers of this. This is my first time using this. It's my first time using glue in like a long, long time. Probably about a couple of months. So I needed this wig to stay on and test out this product and see how it works. <sighs> Should I just spoil it, y'all? This works so freaking good. I was not expecting it to be this good. This glue is like liquid gold okay liquid gold adhesive this stuff is so right but yes i did three layers of this you'll see how um how i do it but i let it i air dry it no i don't air dry it i blow dry it until it's clear so i put on one layer i put on that first white layer i blow dry it until it's clear and then i do my legs next layer i blow dry it until it's clear and then i do my next layer so i do that three times So for this hair color, you guys know everything in my next video, but I just wanted to tell you real quick. I know that little reddish kind of pinkish piece is showing. When you do watercolor method, oh my goodness, it's so detrimental that you get every single strand colored. But thankfully, you couldn't even see that um, when, I, when I'm finished with the whole process. But yeah, I just added a little bit more foundation to my lace because it did get a little tinted from the color. But laying it down, that was adhering okay like i felt the pull when i was laying my lays down and i was so happy with how this came out So you guys see me laying this part down. I didn't tell you guys before, but I do put the glue a little bit up above my actual hairline. And that way it's away from my natural hair. So it make sure you guys do put the glue above your hairline. And then when you lay your flaps down, you lay it right on that glue. When you do that, there's nothing that you have to worry about. It's just that simple as far as melting it into your skin and it's going to stick so good with this glue and y'all this was a really good lace too because the way that is meshing with the glue like when you have a good lace it's supposed to just melt and blend in and that's what this lace is doing for me so kudos to them for that okay now i'm just going to take this elastic band and let that melt help me melt down my lace the elastic band applies so much pressure because, you know, it stretches. So if you guys have that, I feel like that's the best thing that you can use in order to melt down your lace. So I'm just going to take my pressing comb by Kendra's Boutique, which I'm also going to link down below for you guys. And I'm going to go ahead and press that out, just doing something, stalling while this um, the lace is melting. So to intensify my part without plucking, you guys, I'm just going to go ahead and add some of my liquid foundation this time. Usually I use powder, but I feel like the powder um, has been getting a little bit messy. So I just take this liquid foundation and I go ahead and um, intensify my part. And I can honestly say I'm quite happy with both the lace glue as well as the lace. Need I say more?
Now I'm just gonna pull out some baby hairs. Usually I don't like baby hairs when your hair is like colored all one color. But as you can see, I did leave my roots a little dark. Um, so I like that look better. I don't like the whole color baby hairs in front of your face, but that's just my opinion. That's just on me. I don't like the way it looks on me. Um, other people can possibly pull it off, but for me, I, I don't, I can't do it. Um, but since my roots are black, this is okay. So I just went ahead and added some baby hairs there and I'm going to thin them out a little bit later using my tweezers, but I'm just trying to form them. And also you guys, I use Erica J's foaming lotion um, to do my baby hairs and that product works just as good as the lace glue. Um, it's, it's actually very different from my Nairobi foam that I usually use. And I can honestly say you guys I actually like the Erica J product better because I feel like it doesn't give you that shiny cast and it does allow your hair to soften up once you comb it out. So like I was saying before about the styling foam, um, the Erica J styling foam, it leaves your hair so soft and it's not like crispy or it's not shiny. It's just like perfect. This is the styling foam that you want to use when you're trying to achieve these looks. This is what I've noticed and I'm actually so happy that I went with it. So now that everything is formed in place, I'm just going to take my tweezers and thin out a few areas so that it can look a tad bit more natural. If you guys are looking for straight silky hair, like real life, true life silky hair, y'all, this is it. I want this hair in like a 26 or a 30 or something like that because it's giving me that real, real, I was real juiced, okay? It's giving me that real life silky texture. So this is just me showing you guys how the lace turned out um, and the length of it, how short I cut it. I tried to do a blunt bob on the mannequin head, but sometimes when you put it on your head, it don't really give you that look that it once had on the mannequin, if you know what I'm saying. But yes, I love the way this hair turned out. Okay, guys, so we are finally done. I am loving this look. And I know that you are too. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna have everything linked down in the description bar below for you guys. But yes, you guys, so this wig came from Elva's hair. It is a 10 inch silky bob unit but i as you can see i did cut it this is no longer a 10 inch but i cut it into a blunt look i don't know if this video is going to be with this video or if i'm gonna do a separate video of how i colored it or cut it but either way you'll see both i absolutely love this hair y'all this hair is mm, my new favorite i had no shedding it colored good and Y'all know how it is when I get on here. Like, I only like working with great hair, okay? Elva's wig, I did not know them prior to this. Um, it's a few wigs that I, companies I've been working with I haven't heard. They're just coming out of Woodworks, but that's fine with me as long as they get me right. I fell in love with their Instagram page, and I can't wait to get some more hair from them. Let me see if you can see the cut. So, I may, I may or may not have to go over it again. I don't really know how I look in the back. But as far as now, this hair is all right okay like it's so freaking right the color is so freaking nice freaking is my word apparently oh so i also use the erica j um lace frontal glue and i use their styling uh, her styling foam also <sighs> y'all i've been put on to something new today like that stuff just did like the way i be trying to achieve my baby hairs um in my previous videos this is what I be trying to do. Like it may not look like much to you, but this is what I be trying to do, okay? Oh my goodness, that lace glue is going to rock my world, okay? I mean, I shouldn't have no wig sliding off all 2020, 2020 plus, okay? From here on out, 
my wig should not be sliding off in a club no nothing because the way this feel it is like so tight like they always do that wig test and i'm like it gotta be some like i mean it's not like staple to your head so um but no this is staple it's real life staple like this is this feels absolutely secure and i'm going to eat with my husband later so my wig is not going to be lifting okay so wig unfortunately will not be on long because I have a few wigs over there looking at me, calling my name. <laughs> okay, let me enjoy Elva's wig real quick. Okay, <laughs> This tie-dye shirt, you guys, I just want to shout out to um, them for sending me this. Them as in <laughs> my good friend. But, you know, he's a business owner, so I'm just going to go ahead and say them. Um, yeah, so he sent me this shirt to go ahead and show you guys. I absolutely love his um, clothing brand. His clothing brand is called Conceited Animal. And he has tons of like active gear, some for the kids, for the um, for the adults, the women. And I love this tie-dye shirt. I don't know if you can really see it, but yeah, this is a really cute tie-dye shirt. And as you know, it's summertime and tie-dye is so in. So yeah, so this is their shirt here. I'm gonna link every his shirt here. I'm gonna link everything down in the description bar for you guys. Um, I actually gotta go back to his website. I gotta get a few more things because it don't seem like they're letting us out for the summer and he be having the two piece, the jogger set with the hoodie and yeah, he has some fire stuff, okay? So I um just go ahead, if you guys are interested, I'm gonna link that down for you guys. What else do I wanna talk to y'all about? I'm feeling this hair, y'all. So yes, put your post notifications on and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye.